So next rocks what we be doing for city patient and everything is these two rocks. They I got those rocks pro, uh, place where next to the Kern River I found new spot for gold. And here I see the gold, but just in this one spot and this one spot. But that very little amount, and here a little bit looks like. And uh, I don't think so we can recover something, but just testing. And uh, after this, when I crush it and recovering, we'll be working on this rock, which one I think didn't see nothing but who knows maybe have something okay so i go crush this rocks pan it and we just uh, right now be making short video because it's not a lot of material and i just be collecting just uh, heavy material and do the test okay so say bye bye to those two rocks and i go crush it them and then i show you everything else so i crush it and <laughs> Put a classifier, 100 mesh, everything smaller than 100 mesh is in here. Okay, so right now I'll be panning, it's just collecting uh, heavy material, and this time I don't touch dust. Just, I, I don't care too much about this dust. I can do the test on dust, but heavy material shows you better. Everything, just need to have a heavy material, and you can do the test, and you know, do you have gold or not? And that is a simple way to find out. It takes like 10 minutes to do everything. If you know what you're doing, have everything ready, you just get the heavy material, pan it, simple, like a one, two, three. And uh, sometimes you found the gold, sometimes no. So if you don't found the gold, that is means or no gold or it's very little and i right now i don't even see the heavy material too much see and this is from that area where i already found the gold so need to do the test it's time is chloride and that test tells you do you have gold or not and sometimes you don't found the gold no, and I saw visible gold with microscope, but that was, you, you can be 100% guarantee that you have a gold. Okay, there is some little heavy material. I see this, these things, very, very little. And I tried to eliminate impossible more sand. It doesn't matter. Well, that much in, that much enough to do the test. It's just like half a gram, gram maximum. And uh, now I go and transfer everything and pick it and see. I don't see too much heavy material. That is a bad sign. When you don't see heavy material, <laughs> that means no gold too. No, not even no pirates too in this this rock. Didn't see nothing shiny. Yeah. Okay. Doesn't matter. Let's transfer everything and do test. So I use empty beaker. I just wash it. And now I'll be transferring everything over here. Especially next to that first. And uh, to the corners where the heaviest can be sitting. transfer to the beaker okay this is very little amount and that is not even too much mm. take water away so that much it's about half a gram maximum you needed to do the test Okay, so I adding potassium nitrate. Uh, so I need to make something. 
or something, something. Adding potassium nitrate, you'll see a very little, little amount. Okay. And that's it. And now I adding hydrochloric acid. It's like two milliliters. Is that, that's it enough to do the test. You see what we have. And putting on the heat. Okay, putting heat on. Everything else goes away. And we wait till everything gets hot. Solution got hot, got yellow color. I all sand became white. There's still bubbles coming, so I'll be waiting. I need a little bit agitate that solution. And, and I turn off heater. We don't need a lot of heat because we don't need to smell all those fumes and everything. And actually, you know what? It's already looks like it's no bubbling. So time to transfer to another beaker, empty beaker. Let's say this one. And uh, start process. Okay. Put some water a little bit to wash it. We need water just because of that. You'll be putting urea. If there's no water, then it's not, don't want to dissolve. And you get another problem. Okay. And that way I wash a little bit. And this is what, how much I need it. Okay. And this right now I'll be putting urea to kill the night with the urea. Okay. Uh -huh. See, bubbles coming. This means nitric reacting with the urea. And when everything starts, stops creating bubbles. We'll be ready for do the test. Okay. And this test, don't lie. If you get the purple color, it means you have gold. Not even the smallest amount of gold is there. You will see it. So if you don't see it, you see the white empty, becomes white with no color change. That means you don't have nothing inside, so let's see. A solution getting a little bit clean, but it's still not perfect clean. But for test, it's okay. Okay, now, moment or true, do we have gold or not? Putting stainless chloride, and I have what to say. We have gold but very miserable amount, very little amount. Remember that before? On that bottom, black spot, it's a gold. Here, I don't think so, we get a spot. So right now I'm putting in the heat and let's see how much uh, falls out. And this one is still clean water. Let's, let's see, do we have something? put <laughs> nitric, that stainless chloride with the nitric here. Yeah. But this is very little, can you can imagine how little? And I see the color change, <laughs> very, very little. Uh, I'm just joking. Yeah, this this sample don't have nothing, guys. It's, it's, it's very miserable amount, very miserable amount. It's very low grade gold ore. There is gold, you see the color purple? But compared with before, black one, here is very little amount. Okay, so we finish with this video. And now, next video be about this one rock. And by that time, we will see how much gold falls down. It's getting darker, you see getting darker. So it, maybe keep it in the heat that coagulates all gold and falls out in the black powder. So till we finish with this rock, 
we will be knew, knowing exactly what is in that rock. So for next next video, we will see what we got. I don't want to wait because this is very miserable amount and I don't think so there is a gold too much. It's just very little. Okay, now say bye bye to this rock. I'll be crushing and we'll see. Maybe there is gold because this potential. You see, I see the lines, how they look look like one, two, three layers. I maybe don't see gold on this layer. Then maybe the inside two more layers is. See? Let's see. Crushing. <laughs> this is getting darky, darky, but it's some kind of strange color. Strange color. There's some kind of strange thing. Strange thing. We have maybe another metals, not the not the gold. We have some kind of maybe palladium or something. I don't know. This this normally I not play with this kind of things. But we will see. If they be on the bottom something after like half an hour till I finish with this rock, then we will see what we have here. If nothing on the bottom, forget that rock. We go do this one. Okay, I go crush this rock. You see everything on second video.